Please remove all liquids, gels, and metal objects. Place them in a convenience bin. Put this on the conveyor belt. Well, sir, I'll tell you what. I remember when you could take as much toothpaste as you could carry on that plane, but now what you can take is this little dink tube. Not like I use much of it anyway. Sir, please step to the nearest body scanner and wait on the other side before retrieving your luggage. What in tarnation? I am a million mile member, gold diamond executive, platinum member, and I am a citizen of the great Republic of Texas. There is no way in hell I am stepping through that radioactive nonsense mumbo jumbo. It'll make my junk turn green. Calm down, sir. This new regulation affects all customers. Please step through. Sir, I will not calm down, but I will go through. Please come through, sir. I will be writing a letter to the airline. In the fall of 2010, backscatter x-ray scanners were introduced in many major U.S. airports. Controversy quickly followed with the implementation of these devices. One of the public's major concerns with these scanners is the health hazards due to the ionizing x-ray radiation. Although the threat of x-ray exposure is rooted in scientific fact, the potential for these scanners to do significant biological damage has greatly been over-exaggerated. The average dose received from per backscatter scan is only about 0 0.005 millirem. This is approximately the same dose received after an hour of exposure to natural radiation in the air and soil. Compare this with the dose received during a six-hour commercial plane flight, which is 2 millirems, or about 400 times greater than the scanner dose. Moreover, a typical dental x-ray is 15 millirem, or 3,000 times greater than the scanner dose. So really, the concerns associated with the health effects of these backscatter scanners are overstated and exaggerated. I sure am hungry. I wonder what's in the fridge. These grapes look good. Gravesy's kind of funny. <laughs> oh, my stomach's starting to hurt. <laughs> Ow. <laughs> ha 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 ha! Radiation! Take that, stomach! Alphas, betas, and gammas! Ha! Despite the media hysteria that ensued with the introduction of food irradiation programs, there is little to fear from ingesting irradiated produce. Food is irradiated with gamma sources, which kill bacteria, pathogens, and insects without significantly altering its flavor or nutritional value. Gamma irradiation helps maintain the freshness of produce without making it radioactive. It also keeps fruits oh so juicy. Samples are done. Contrary to comic fiction, ingesting radioactive material will not imbue you with superpowers. Depending on the type of radiation you ingest, you can either increase your risk for various types of cancers and long-term health effects, or even become fatally ill. Radiation can increase the rate of cell mutation, but not in a controlled enough way to necessarily produce anything beneficial. The cell contains DNA, organelles, and cytoplasm. When ionizing radiation interacts with the water in a cell, highly reactive molecules called free radicals are formed. Free radicals can disrupt the function of many organelles, 
or destroy parts of the DNA molecule, possibly resulting in a cell mutation. There are four possibilities when damage does occur. One, the cell can repair itself. Two, the DNA can partially recover, but be altered in such a way that it can either not function correctly or not reproduce. Three, the DNA can be altered in such a way that the cell becomes cancerous. And four, at high doses, the damage to the cell is irreparable and the cell will most likely die. Thank you.